Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Yakuza Apocalypse. Once bitten, you're Yakuza. Directed by Takashi Miike, starring Hayato Ichihara, Riko Narumi, Ryo Shinte, Yayan Ruayan, and Masanori Mimoto. This movie's about a Yakuza mob boss who is a vampire. He's on a secret mission to kind of save the world because he knows it's ending, and he passes on his bloodline to one of his henchmen, who has to step up and save the world from a wild cast of characters. This is a recommendation from Scott Beller over on Patreon, and he said this one was wild, and sure enough, it absolutely is. It's not much of a vampire movie, it's just kind of all over the place, but what's kind of cool is it's Mike, who did Audition, Visitor Q, Itchy the Killer, and then he also has this like really other side. This is that other side. This is like an anime come to life that just progressively gets weirder and weirder. So what do we like? I absolutely love the action in this movie. I know it's something we rarely talk about on the channel, but the choreography, the fight scenes, everything was just smooth. The fights are over the top, but you love the action. And the way that it's shot, it feels high energy. There's a little like camera shake on every punch. So everything feels like it's got some power behind it. And even like the sound effects just like, Everything is hard hitting. As well, the stunt choreography is great. You care about the characters fighting and there's like an emotional battle at times, including one of the final fights, which is actually just like a punch for punch, but you like care about it. On the other hand, my favorite fight involves Kiro Kun, the frog man. This is kind of where it got like really weird. It's just this big guy in a frog suit just whooping people's ass. And it's great because he looks funny, but he absolutely destroys people. And I think that's what's great about this movie is everything is over the top and ridiculous. The fact that you have a vampire, a kappa, like this random Japanese demon, which looks absolutely ridiculous, you know what you're getting yourself into. Like it's early on in the film, you're like, okay, vampire movie, I'm sure something crazy is happening. Then you get the kappa and you're like, all right, Something really crazy is gonna happen. The fact that like someone is like kicking ass in this giant frog costume is probably the best part of this film. And the otaku guy, the little nerd guy, he comes out of nowhere whooping ass and he, he's got some fight, man. <laughs> I just like the randomness of it, honestly, because it is more of a serious movie, despite it saying it's a comedy. The storyline is serious, just with over the top characters that are just weird. And I liked it. I like that it's just this city that's kind of in a recession and you've got the Yakuza, but they're actually just like vampires now. And then you have the civvies, the civilians that need to fight each other because the vampires love the civvy blood and the civilians, well, they need to fucking survive. So they have to defend themselves. And it's fun because you try and figure out like, wait, is that a civilian? Or is it a Yakuza? Or if are they gonna change and what's gonna happen? Where's the Kappa? What the hell's happening with the captain? Why is she got a drip in her head? Why is there milk coming out of her? And why is she fucking growing babies in her garden? Mm. It's wild, you just have to see it. Meanwhile, you find yourself invested in the deep story that is Kagiyama and Kyoko. You just, you, he's battling for honor and love. And like, I really liked Kagiyama's character. Like he had a cool look to him. He had that like, he was, in this like sweet suit, he had like the shaved head. He was just, he was badass and he was believable. Like you wanted to root for him because like they establish his character as like, I want to be like the boss. I want to do good even though people think Yakuza is bad. So you're like, why do I want to root for like a mobster? But they find a way to be like, yeah, I want Kagiyama to succeed. He's all about honor and he is a badass. But he does have sensitive skin. In the one scene they were talking about how he needed to get, he wanted to get a back tattoo. He's like, I can't, I've got sensitive skin. And the other guy just like bites back, like just rub some lotion on it. <laughs> it's so funny. And this also reminded me of Yakuza the game, specifically because there's a lot of like guys looking backwards and that's like the front cover of the Yakuza video game. I miss it. I love when like the entire town becomes like Yakuza vampires 
and they're all like walking like Yakuza and like acting like Yakuza, especially like the police. When they're like, oh, you're a public servant, go do something. They're like, no, I just drink and abuse my power all day now. <laughs> like the writing is really, really solid. It's fun, but serious, but there's enough like humor in it that you're going to enjoy it like throughout. Now, what didn't we like? I think the biggest issue is the tease of a bitch of an ending. Honestly, this is one of those movies that sets up this big, cool ass fight and right when they're running to jump in to fight each other it rolls credits so you're like are you fucking kidding me and it's been four years or five years now i don't know if we're getting a sequel and i just wanted to see that fucking conclude it's weird because there are some things that i feel odd nitpicking about or even just mentioning it but the story the exposition really wasn't there and it's kind of frustrating because you want to know what's going on all these things happen and they don't fully explain why. They don't even give us like a reason for <laughs> why the vampires do what they do. You want that. You don't need it because the movie is fine without it, yeah. but it's something that you want. And you're like scratching your head like, being, oh, why are they doing this? Even from like small things, from just like characters moving from one scene to another scene in an instant, and it doesn't make sense. Like when Kyoku and Kageyama are just like magically on what appears to be kind of like a garbage peninsula. Of, so, of sorts, I don't know how to describe it, but like they were just talking somewhere else and they just kind of like warp here and he picks up this fucking cloak so he looks like a Jedi. And even in another fight scene, they're like fighting in the streets and all of a sudden they're inside a restaurant. That happens a lot. I was for it because everything was just continuously like getting weird. So I was fine with the lack of explaining, uh, but I know that people will be pissed or frustrated at least. Like I was okay not knowing anything about why the Kappa or why a frogman started riding his bicycle around <laughs> and like why did he come here who knows i'm okay with that now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings i hadn't even heard of this and based on the poster i probably wouldn't have watched it to be honest but it is so much better than just like looking at this poster suggests because it's so crazy i don't know why they didn't put the frog on the poster it's just like a guy standing there and it doesn't tell you anything about it it's a fun time there's a lot going on you're gonna like the characters even without some of the motivations behind what they're doing, it's still really fun because you want to see what's going to happen next. The fights are amazing, it's shot and lit extremely well, and there's nothing I can really say that I didn't like aside from the ending. And that's just like a minor gripe, like I'm not pissed about the ending, I'm okay with it. Uh, so I would absolutely recommend this. So I'll give this four and a half naked knitters out of five. This is definitely one of those movies that the poster and the synopsis give it no justice. This film is just a roller coaster ride of trying to one-up itself in craziness. It's just a lot of fun. If you love martial art movies, this is going to be great because the fight scenes are fantastic. They're well choreographed. And because it's such a long movie, you're not tired watching these things over and over. You just, you want to move on to the next fight. You want to see Kakiyama like kick some ass. You get to see a person in a frog suit fight a bunch of people. Like, it is just a lot of fun. I would have liked to have a little more explanation as to why everything is happening, but because this film is so crazy, you don't need it. You just have to accept the fact that it's not gonna make sense and you're literally here just to see a frog versus a vampire. And you need to go watch this because it is awesome. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film four and a half frustrated froggies out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. If you have any, you do want to check it out. Link is in the description. And if you want the opportunity to recommend a movie for us to review, check out the Patreon. Link also in the description. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything Bloodbath and beyond.